Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Daily Beats. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can extract the nodes from samples and convert them into MIDI information so, the, so that you can work or uh, complete the beat that you are working with. And uh, if you are new here to this channel, please subscribe and activate the notifications so that you know when we upload new videos. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just leave a comment below and I will answer. Also, if you'd like to support us, uh, consider going to our website www.dailybeats.pt and buy one of our products or becoming a member of um, a premium or exclusive member where you will have access to exclusive videos about mixing, mastering and sound design and uh, you can download the project files from all our tutorials here at YouTube and Facebook. So uh, let's go ahead and start uh, getting, start understanding how can we uh, get the information or the MIDI notes from samples. The first thing we have to do is go find a sample. Let's go to dailybeats.pt, let's go to piano sample pack. Uh, here we have, this is a good example because we have the MIDI files and also the WAV files. And this will be uh, nice, a nice way to compare this method to get the MIDI information from samples. So let's go ahead. I want to, <clears throat> sorry, I want to extract information from this uh, sample. And uh, the first thing we have to do is go ahead and open up Newton. Let's go here to mix, uh, misc, and open new tone, and just drag and drop the sample inside of new tone. And as you can see here, we now have the, the um, new, tone, new tone decoded the notes uh, based on the pitch of each uh, transient. I, uh, that's, let's say. Uh, so it's Newton understands the transient of the, of the notes of the sample and then convert that information into, into areas into small pieces of audio so that we can understand better what we are working with. So the first thing I'm going to do is to, I'm going to actually delete everything and I'm going, since I know the BPM, which is 82, let's go ahead and put this at 82 like this. And now let's bring the, the sample into the playlist, into the Newton. And as you can see, now the sample, it's uh, fits this, uh, four bar loops and uh, now you could manually extract the notes so let's say here we have d no d no uh, e or f f actually this one is f this one here is a c sharp so what we can do and uh, this can be a little bit tricky because sometimes you are working with uh, um, chords so sometimes it's, it's, it's hard for the, this program to understand what notes are you working with, but uh, that's okay. And here, the options that we have here are these ones here, that the options that we want to work with are these ones here. And as you can see here in this, um, in this first button, we have send to piano roll slash copy to MIDI clipboard. And if we click, if we click here, you will see that all the notes were sent to, or the, the same notes that we have here were sent to this instrument. So if I wanted, let's say I, I had like three, three different uh, samplers here. And let's say I wanted to send information to the third one. I have to select the third one. So this green uh, rectangle must be selected in the instrument that you want and then you just simply click here or you can you know, just click here and it will automatically send the notes to the sampler or to the channel rack so let's go ahead and delete these notes and uh, let's go and also and delete these samplers and as here we have the notes so one thing that we can do here is to 
how can I say, to uh, make this a little bit easier to understand, let's go ahead and make the notes more. For instance, this one's here. Let's go ahead and delete one like this. And then we are going to, to we are going to do control L to elongate the notes. In this case here we have A sharp and it goes to F and A sharp again. So I think I will leave just this one here. And in this case, I'm going to leave just C sharp like this. Again, here we have three notes. So I'm going to delete the all the last notes. Here we have the same thing. So F, A and um, so we have A sharp, F, oops, F, F, uh, A sharp and then A sharp on a different octave. So what I think about this is that I'm going to leave it like this, just this A sharp note. Here we have two C sharps, so let's delete the last one, this one here, and yeah. So now if I click Control and L, the notes will elongate. And now you see that now we have all the notes correct, or not correct, but at least we have the um, just one note per per per. How can I say one MIDI one MIDI information here per note, if that makes sense. So now let's go ahead and bring a piano. Let's go with the Daily Beats VI. Okay, so this is the piano that we have. Okay, so now this is too low because we don't have uh, notes here. So let's go ahead and click control up to move this one octave. It's not perfect as you can see. So let's go ahead and see the differences. So this is the the MIDI notes that we got from from um, Newton and let's go ahead now this is loop 16 so let's go here to loop 16 and let's open up on a new on a new on a new a new pattern and as you can see here we have this elongated note so let's go ahead and click control L Okay, and also this one's here, control L, so that we can understand better what we have. This one's here, control L. So let's go ahead now and compare. So we have, actually I'm going to Alt C, duplicate the, this instrument, and let's go back to channel one. And uh, let's bring this one octave higher. And as you can see here, we pretty much got the same, uh, the same structure, the same uh, melodic elements. For instance, this note here should be right about there. But as you can see here, we are missing some notes because they are overlapped. So I played both F uh, in a lower octave and also in a higher locked octave. So, sorry. So as you can see here, we have a very close representation of the the MIDI notes. For instance, the this part here was pretty much banged on. So the the Newton made uh, uh, did a great job in extracting this MIDI information or the the notes from this one here, and uh, even the, the, the this ones here, this one also. So this continues. And what else? So this one should be should not be present, should be continued like this. And here, for instance, if I move this up, yeah, you can see that we still have the same notes, but they are just two octaves down. So if I do this, and uh, as you can see, this is a very nice way to extract information from uh, from samples. And uh, we can do a new example, for example, let's do with basses, uh, baseline sample pack, sample pack, 
MIDI. So we have the basis and also the MIDI files. And you can find these, um, you can find these sample packs at dailybeats.pt. So let's find a new one. A base should be simpler. Okay, so this has some, some slides, some glides, which might be hard to, to detect. For instance, this one here. So let me delete or, or disable these instruments. Let's go ahead to Newton. Let's con click delete. So delete doesn't do anything. So we have to select everything and we can do control A and then delete. And now let's go ahead and bring this sample. So now we have a 90 BPM. So let's go ahead and put this at 90 and let's bring the sample into Newton. And as you can see, we now have a lot more like, uh, samples here. Uh, let me make this a little bit smaller like this. And as you can see here, we have the eight, eight bar loop. And if we do the same here, so let's go ahead. Now we can delete, well, we can go to a different pattern. Let's go to the pattern tool. Let's select this first one and let's click send to piano roll. And these are the notes. As you can see here, the bass, it's a little bit more organized, even except this part here. Maybe this part is not that uh, correct, but oh, sorry. But we will see. And now we can simply control L to elongate the notes. And let's bring the piano, sorry, the MIDI information. So this is baseline 17. So let's bring baseline 17 into the second into the second um, instrument here on our playlist and if we move this up one octave we will see that every note is pretty much bang on again so as you can see here there are some uh, some uh, some timing issues and that's because of newton but regarding that we have all the notes pretty much on 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 the same uh, on the same um, in the same arrangement uh, except maybe these ones here so yeah we missed some some notes here for instance this c4 does not exist and this d3 is actually a c and also this E is actually a C. But uh, regard, uh, taking that in consideration, it's pretty much on, on a, how can I say, it's pretty much um, correct. So let me bring and let's create a base here and also a new base here with 3x oscillator. And if we play both, So as you can see here, let's see uh, from the, um, the MIDI file, which is this one here. So these are the original notes. And as you can see here, we, we, we have some, some notes that are not perfect. For instance, this one does not exist. But after, after that, not after that, but besides that, we can see that this method of uh, getting notes from, from the samples is very, very effective. So some notes did not match up this one's here and this one and that one here but uh, besides this one's here uh, everything is for instance this first part is really really on point and um, this is a great method if you don't know the the original notes from your samples i already used for instance let's say i do i use this sample on the seven this one here and i use slice x to sample the the the, the individual sounds and then i go 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 and do something like this 300 cents plus so i increase the pitch of the sample so that i can play 
on a different um, on different uh, pitches what i can do then is to get the notes using this method and then i can go ahead and move them up three times and in this case if i have two so let's say they 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 are uh, how can i say if i if i um the words are missing today sorry about that if this gets a little bit confused so what i mean is that if i use this sample and i pitched it up three uh, semitones or 300 cents what i can do then is use the same notes the note the mid information from newton and go ahead and shift that information three times up or uh, yes up because i i did it plus 300 cents shift that up and i know that the, the notes will match the sample so we can do that so let's try and see something like this let me show you with uh, daily beats vi with the piano so what i did was i got the, the this is the original sound okay and now if i play the piano and let me move this down as you can see let me delete the original midi file the timing is not perfect but the notes the pitch are are are, are correct uh, between each other so they are in tune with each other if i for some reason i want to pitch this up 3 cent, 300 plus or plus 300 cents if i now play the 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 sounds they don't match they don't match and one thing that i usually do when i when i work with sounds with samples is to switch change the master pitch of slice x and uh, i sometimes find it difficult to to get the 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 notes that are in the scale of the sample and in this case i can go ahead now and move these three times one two three and now they are in tune again so this is a very nice way for you to get and see what notes were played in uh, in um, in the original sample and uh, uh, it's a, a better way for you to understand sampling and uh, use different types of samples from different sources and match them together so that they can be in tune and uh, yeah that's it guys i hope this video uh, was helpful and uh, if you are new here to this channel please subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when we upload new videos and consider supporting us at dailybeats.pt buying one of our products or becoming a premium or exclusive member it's very cheap and uh, i think uh, we give a great amount of uh, value for the money that we ask for even for our products but especially for our membership plans so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one peace